gives energy change and equilibrium. In a reversible chemical reaction, the forward and backward reaction proceeds simultaneously. Thus, a dynamic equilibrium is set up. This means that the reactions in both the directions should proceed with a decrease in free energy, which appears impossible. So the criterion for equilibrium, A plus B in equilibrium, give C plus D is Delta R G is equal to zero. When all reactants and products are in standard state, Gibbs energy Delta R G theta is related to the equilibrium constant of the reaction as follows. Zero is equal to Delta R G theta plus R T natural log K where K is equal to C D by A B Delta R G theta is equal to minus R T natural log K is equal to 2.303 R T log K. We also have Delta R G theta is equal to Delta R H theta minus T Delta R S theta is equal to minus R T natural log K. For strongly endothermic reactions, the value of Delta R H theta may be large and positive. In such a case, value of K will be much smaller than 1 and the reaction is unlikely to form much product. In case of exothermic reactions, Delta R H theta is large and negative and Delta R G theta is likely to be large and negative too. In such cases, K will be much larger than 1. We may expect strongly exothermic reactions to have a large K and hence can go to near completion. Delta R G theta also depends upon Delta R S theta if the changes in the entropy of reaction is also taken into account. The value of K or extent of chemical reaction will also be affected. Delta G in the Gibbs free energy is Delta G is equal to Delta H minus T Delta S. When delta S is positive and delta H is negative, a process is always spontaneous. When delta S is positive and delta H is positive, the relative magnitudes of delta S and delta H determine if the reaction is spontaneous. High temperatures make the reaction more favorable. When delta S is negative, and delta H is negative, the relative magnitudes of delta S and delta H determine if the reaction is spontaneous. Low temperatures make the reaction more favorable. When delta S is negative and delta H is positive, a process is not spontaneous at any temperature, but the reverse process is spontaneous.